maintaining arm of the Ministry of Health, constituting 85% of human resources for health. As a key player in the health sector, KMTC is a cornerstone in the nation's drive to achieve universal health coverage. For additional details about our courses and intakes, visit our website www.kmtc.ac.ke. KMTC, training for better health. children living with disability have a challenge of how to get help and where to take their children for both education and therapy. Don Orion, a center in Kandisi, Ongataongai, provides hope beyond darkness for over 60 students living with intellectual disabilities. Our founder, who is Luis Orione, had that in mind of looking of people who are poor and the elderly, the youth, and most of all the intellectual intellectual uh, disability people with intellectual disabilities because they are the most vulnerable in the society we realize that we need that here in this uh, locality because of finding the children or youth who are abandoned by the society and we need to so we saw that we need to do something for them. Through their door-to-door -door work, they realized there are many children living with disability who have been abandoned by the society, and hence the center was formed in 2015. The message that we can give is, first of all, is uh, the people with intellectual disability, they are a gift to us in the society because they are special and also they are able to in a special way. It's a matter of just uh, doing something for them, uh, like rehabilitation or uh, therapy, and they, they can do marvelous. Richard Magana, the project manager, though not a doctor, he tried to shed light to us what intellectual disability is. As a, a type of a disability that affects the cognitive part of our brain, so this means that these children or these persons will not be able to perform their regular day-to-day -day activities right from their cognitive part of their body. And that is why for, for us as an institution, and according to our founder, these are one of the most vulnerable persons in the society since their capacity to take decision and the fact that due to their conditions, they will more or less have a life dependency on someone else. So. Maybe, uh, again, in, from my experience, I would say that is what intellectual disability is. Parents being the first caregivers needed to be observant with their children at a tender age to be able to notice some of the signs and symptoms of intellectual disability. So we always have these uh, developmental milestones, you know, in our all over in our families we know a child at a certain age should be able to turn the neck, a child at a certain age or uh, yeah, at a certain age if I call them they are going to react to their name we know at a certain point in their life we need to hear some um, uh, efforts to communicate so all these things are, are the telltale signs for something might not be okay with the child so we encourage the parents Mzazi Nyumbani Akue Macho to be in, to be involved with the parent it's not the work of the, uh, the, the nanny or the house manager just to take care of the kid, no. Because so many of these answers um, are coming right from the parents, if they are able to participate very strongly in the growth of their children. There is no cure for intellectual disability, in case you are wondering. But all is not lost. As much as there is no cure, with the interventions, we can improve their conditions and way of life. I know the society is gradually opening up and accepting the reality exists, but a child with a disability is not a condemnation. It is not the end of the world. 
because even all of us now that we think we are typical, we are okay, disabilities is something that I can get even tomorrow in a car accident. I, I, I mess up my spine, will it be the end of my life? So we must start with us and we must start by not condemning them and realizing that any of these things can happen to us. Some of the interventions the center offer is early stimulation. Early stimulation is support and education system given to children between the ages of three to eight. During early stimulation, we do activities like we draw, we color, we do pre-writing activities, we, do, we join dots, we build blocks, we sing, we dance, we, we do puzzle activities, we use uh, boards, communication boards for the ABC, the numbers, shapes, colors. We have stimulation. These are set of activities and goals that aims to improve the ability of this child. As a parent, you might be wondering why is early intervention good for my child? Teacher Dorothy, who deals with early stimulation, has this to say. The earlier, the better, because early intervention is more effective when a child is very young or when it is done at the early age. This early intervention will shape, will shape the behavior of this child and instill the discipline in him that is required for a child to be, maybe in a classroom setting, at home or everywhere. A majority of these children living with intellectual disability present themselves with a challenge in the line of communication. Therefore, the speech and language therapist comes in. Basically, a child who has speech problem is a child who has difficulty or challenges producing correct speech sounds. For instance, if it's the vowels, if it's the consonant, so the child has, has uh, vocabularies, but the way they articulate the sounds uh, comes out differently, either through omission, through uh, distorting some of the sounds. So you tend to find that if you are familiar to the child, you'll be in a position to understand their speech. Each child is different and they need to be treated differently since they present different challenges. Regina, upon receiving a child both from the center or community, she conducts a number of assessments to evaluate the exact problem. My main role here is to do, conduct an assessment, then prepare a treatment plan, then begin with therapy, both our students and outpatients. We also deal with children from the community. Most of the challenges for early intervention, as she explains, is perception. Okay, so most of the challenge uh, that I can say, it's uh, one, uh, it's the mentality out there that uh, parents discuss among each other, telling each other that Maybe my child acquired speech maybe at the age of four or at the age of five or seven. So don't worry, take time, give your child time. And uh, sometimes this giving time, uh, at some point it reaches to a point there's nothing much we can do, maybe as therapist. Because for me, in the area of speech and language, early, early intervention works. Early years are the best. Therapy is a science of movement that focuses on helping people restore and optimize movement functions. Each section lasts between 45 minutes to an hour at a tender age. We do this pediatric physiotherapy to our children because uh, normally these children with neurological condition, they portray symptoms like uh, balance impairment, weakness. So we do pediatric physiotherapy to restore and help them optimize their movement function. The benefits of therapy in children is to physically stimulate them to attain development that delayed due to a number of reasons. Here in Don Orion, once a child turns 16 years, they are enrolled on vocational training program. Vocational is a program that focuses on functional skills of the youth. A vocational area is the last uh, journey in our institution. And we normally do various activities in our farm. These activities uh, develop a uh, career in these uh, students. Number two is for uh, opportunity for all. The center decided to focus on farming since as we all know, farming is the backbone of our country and right now there is a shortage of food. Among the many students Beth has managed to train and graduated is Mark. Mark uh, has been my student and it has been, it has been a, 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 a good journey with challenges on the way. Because uh, the first time when I started training him on farming, 
Mark was not able to understand most of the activities, but because of the patience and understanding and love, I go through the journey. And now Mark understand slowly, gradually, gradually, gradually until now where we are. Once a child reaches the age of 18 in this center, they evaluate their ability to perform farming tasks and if they are able, they employ them to work as farmers in their farm or help them start their own farming business. Mark has been doing a tremendous job. When I was enrolled here, that's when I gained the skills on planting. Skooma, spinach, carrots, maize, and onions. Being the last born in a family of four, Mark's journey started here in Don Orion after several visits to the doctor with his parents and enrollment in regular schools without bearing fruit. Each journey has ups and downs and his was not different. I wasn't able to put my head straight so the next course of action was I'd be taken to the hospital to be operated on. Not only is Mark an excellent farmer earning income and giving back to the community, but he also keeps animals. With this empowerment, Mark has learned important life skills of managing money and also changed the mindset of the society that those with intellectual disabilities are a burden and non-contributing members of the society. If you find out your child has intellectual disability, please don't hide your kids. Enroll them in a school like this, Donorium. They get assistance, they get help. Don't discriminate children who live with disability, it is very wrong. With the success stories the center experiences, their plan five years from now is to reach at least half of those who are disabled because the ones they have are a few compared to the ones in the society. It is said disability is not inability. Treat them with love, respect, patience and dignity. After all, there is hope beyond darkness.